this is a micro bit. This is what we call a microcomputer. It's basically a computer that can do much more things and some things that, that, that normal computers cannot do. From the front, you can see that there is this bar. These are called pins. There's pin 0, 1, 2, 3B, and ground. But ground is also known as, as, as 0 volts. 3V and ground and, and 0 volts are used as the power. Now you must but now you must remember never to connect these two, otherwise it could cause a, a short circuit. There is these buttons A and B. They can be used as inputs for the micro bits. There's also this 5x5 five five grid. These are the LED lights. They can produce very big amounts of light but use very little electricity. There's also this logo. This is the version 2 micro bit, so they had added some changes. There is this logo which is gold now. When you press when you when you press it, it does an input. You can all there's two more inputs, shaking and speaking, as there is a a microphone at the back. At the back you can see that there are these three things. There's the USB to private to send code into here through the directly and to provide power from the computer there's this reset button that can restart the code from the very beginning there's this notch right here which is used for the battery pack now in the version 2 micro bit they did add a few more things there's this microphone which which adds as an input this golden bit here is our is our speaker there's this antenna which is gold and better the antenna can be used to to send code from the computer into the micro bit through through bluetooth connection or it can be used to send signals to another micro bit thus it can be used as another input there's also this bit here this tiny black part that is a compass and an accelerometer compass as you know it, it shows where is north but but the accelerometer basically shows how far it how much it is tilted which and it can also be used as a tilted as an input such as if it is 90 degrees then it can be there if it is 90 degrees it can it, it, it will do something and if it is say 45 degrees around this then it then it will do something else the micro bit can only do so much so and come and unlike Ar arduino and raspberry pi to other micro co computers you need to use an exp an, an, an expansion board like such as this an expansion board can only be is is required so that you can add in so that you can do other things such as putting a pad or a joystick these of course need to be connected by various wires to program your micro bit i'm mo most people use a website called makecode.microbit.org this is the main programming language it uses simple block based programs to you know um, send signals so you can just kind of drag and drop and do stuff so this is based and there are also other ways you can do such as java script and also python both ways are are interchangeable can be used to program the micro bit although most beginners i rec although i recommend most beginners start using the block based pro program so right now I'm starting to do my code. I'm starting to code. So what I'll do is I'll plug the USB in to the micro bit and then insert it into my adapter. Since I'm using a MacBook, I need an adapter. Okay. So there. Now what? Now I'm just going to show you how a basic code works. So I'm just going to show this string. Now show string. You can. It's basically going to show a series of text. 
now if you look here it's it's a simulator to, to that's basically showing that your code works now yes now if you now this is on start but if you wanted to go on forever and forever and forever you put it into a forever loop then it will just continue looping so what i'm gonna do is you download the hex file yes now what i'm gonna now since i'm using a mac all you, all i need to do, so basically this is what you do you find the file in your file explorer or your finder take that hex file and drag it into the micro bit area now it will take some time now what it's going to do it's going to copy the code into the micro bit so that if you want to recycle the code that you used before you can obviously use it so let's just give it some time now if you see in the micro bit there's this yellow light that's blinking this tells you that it is resetting so now it works see it shows code it shows each letter one at a time now if we wanted to say show a show a number such as 21 then it will show two and one however on single digits it'll just show the number so let's say we want to show the number two we could we do it again okay we get we take the hex file and drag it into the micro bit we just give it some time now you can see on the micro bit it's blinking the yellow lights blinking this is this is just to show that it that the code is being transferred from here to here once it stops blinking you'll know that it's ready let's just give it some time hey it's done so you can see that the number two is shown here Now you could also do some more ambitious projects such as doing a dice or doing an input but I'm going to show you something else. So let's get a forever loop, put an input, wait no mind. So let's say you want to do a button A, now what do you want it, to, what do you want to happen? so this is to show a custom led sequence but if you wanted to show a similar icon they should they give you preset icons i'm going to show a heart when button a is pressed so we continue and, and we keep on repeating the process with the code drag and drop we wait a couple seconds any time now okay now it's done now in the previous ones it's obvious that it's already copied but what we need now now we can test it out say if i press button a there it shows a heart symbol now there's no way of reverting it back so what you can do is go to the back press the reset button that resets the code, not reset what is already inside. So if I press button A again, it shows a heart. The micro bit that I got is from my starter kit. I will put a, I'll, I'll put a, a link to where you can buy this starter kit in the description down below. Um, it you can buy it on Amazon or basically anywhere that you can find this on. The starter kit is, a, is, is recommended for beginners as it provides all the necessities for you. It provides with pretty much everything. A keypad, extension board, ex expansion board, joysticks, 
servo motors, LEDs, uh, Neo Pixel LED things, and and a LCD sensor and a light sensor. Practically everything that you need to start off your mic, being a micro bit, you can go. So soon you might go from beginner level to really advanced and uh, basically very ambitious programming. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please like, share, and subscribe. See you in the next episode.